The Trace is a telepresence installation where two participants in remote sites share the same telematic space. The piece consists of vectors, sounds and graphics that respond to the movement of the participants. Two interactive stations are needed for the piece. These are interconnected with a normal telephone or ISDN line so they can be in the same exhibition hall on either side of the city or in different cities. In the piece, real-time audiovisual events reconstruct the three-dimensional presence of each participant in the space of the other. Each station consists of a dark room with a giant rear projection screen on the ceiling, a side monitor, four robot lamps hanging from the ceiling, and ten speakers distributed around the room. Upon entering the station, each participant is given a small wireless sensor that monitors his or her exact three-dimensional position. The trace transfers coordinates between the remote stations so that each sensor controls audiovisual elements in both stations. The piece has four ways of insinuating the remote presence in the local station. Number one, robot lamps. There are four mechanized lamps hanging from the ceiling, each of which emit a very narrow light beam. Two have a white and two have a blue beam. The blue beams point to the local participant, while the white beams point to the position of the remote participant. The point of intersection of the white beams correspond to the exact position of the sensor in the remote station. Fog machines accentuate the light beams. Number 2. Positional sound. Ten speakers distributed around each station broadcast sounds that seem to originate from the relative position of the remote participant. For instance, if a participant moves to the right, the other participant perceives the sound also moving in that direction. Similarly, the sound becomes louder as one approaches the other participant. Among the sounds used are those that indicate the distance between participants in meters, 1.5, 3, 4.5, etc. Number 3. Statistics Screen Each station has a giant monitor that presents statistics, messages and graphics designed to give the participants quantitative information about their movements. The data comes directly from the ultrasonic tracking system and therefore exhibits very little lag. And number four, 3D graphics. Interactive animations of a ring and disc are presented on the giant screen on the ceiling. These make low drones as they float around the screen. The ring follows the movement of the local participant wherever she or he goes. Conversely, the disc follows the sensor in the remote station so that the local participant can infer the displacements of the other participant through the movement of this disc. The key technology used in the trace is the GAMS ultrasonic tracking system invented by Will Bauer. Two such trackers are used in the installation, one in each station. This system consists of a small wireless wand for detection of 3D position and velocity in an interactive area measuring 8 by 9 meters. GAMS affords 32 coordinates per second which control the lamps, graphics, and 10-channel audio system. The presence of the remote participant is ghostly and mysterious, since one knows nothing about him or her, except for his or her three-dimensional movement. Telembodiment happens when both participants occupy the same relational space, that is, when they share the same telematic coordinates. This so-called telembodiment is presented in the trace as a technological metaphor of those moments in which human beings 
are inside other human beings. Of course, participants may choose not to tell embody, precisely trying to avoid sharing the same space, producing a telematic hide-and-seek game. One of the motivating reasons to do this piece was to find out whether the Levin's realm, the physical distance we are expected to keep from other people, is upheld within telematic systems. <laughs>